I'm Warren, I'm 45, I'm definitely a hoarder and I definitely hoard things. My house is a disaster, a total disaster. Kept on piling up and piling up and piling up and that's basically where it's at right now. It's just piled to the max. My name is Leanne and my husband Warren is a major hoarder. Warren and I have been married for 10 years now. We have a son named Joshua. He's going to be three. My home is a big disaster. There's stuff everywhere. It's hard to do anything without something falling or getting ruined or broken. I always feel like I'm being buried alive. You know, it's, it's that feeling. It's that feeling that you're just drowning in the sea. Drowning in the sea of stuff. She's like, it's not fair to Josh, and she's right. I've said to him, you know, either help me get the stuff done, throw things out, get rid of things. Otherwise, just take your stuff and go live with your mom. My name is Shara. I'm uh, Leanne's sister. Honestly, I think they'd be better divorced. You want to sit down? Nah, I'm good. All right. Together in the environment and the way things are right now, it's toxic. It's bad. We try to clean the rooms here and there, but it just like keeps building up. I definitely know I have to get rid of it. There's no two ways about it. If we don't do it, she wants to go separate ways. It just feels like I'm defeated. But it's hard to feel that way. It, it's hard to feel that no matter what you do, nothing changes. wind up taking him over to Smithtown General. And that's where they pronounce him dead on arrival. First, my mom thought I was kidding around with her, but then when I said to her, nope, she kind of majorly freaked out. After his father had passed, I would have to say that he probably was trying to hold on to things. I think it probably just happened from when my dad passed away. He has still held on to that van, you know, and it's still here. It's still a piece of his past. I don't think he'd be able to part with that van. I'm sure it's going to be hard, it's not going to be easy, but, you know, you got to try to basically do what you have to do. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning Matt. I'm, make I'm Matt Paxton. I'm a hoarding specialist focusing on extreme cleaning. Yep. Mm -hmm. What are our goals for today? We're cleaning this house. Why? For Josh. For okay. our son. So pretty much we want to get this house clean so we can get some help in for Josh and just so he can enjoy being in the home again. Exactly. All right. Yep. Let's, Let's do go. it. Okay. I'm Dr. Renee Renardi. I'm a cognitive behavioral therapist, and I specialize in compulsive hoarding, obsessive compulsive disorder, and trichotillomania. We got a lot that we want to get done this weekend, right? We want to make quick decisions because um, we want to get through it as, as quickly as possible, so no longer than 10 seconds on any item. One of the rules we're going to have is we're not, we're not moving stuff to think about it later. Okay. We're making decisions all day long. You got okay. it. It's time to move on and just do what you got to do. Warren, we're going to scrap this, right? Yeah, definitely. 20 feet of copper. How much money do you think cash-wise is in this of unused parts in here? Probably about 60 grand. 60 grand worth of stuff. Brand new fan blade. Brand new pump. More copper. That's 200 bucks. This right here is $1,300. What? That's a $12,000 condenser unit right. sitting right there. Brand new. Brand new. Hi. Hello. How are we doing? Well, 
we have uh, Warner's work stuff that he needs to go through and make decisions on. I don't want to make decisions for him. We have the two box of sale items going. We have clothes that I have to sort through. The work boxes are really for him to go through. They're his catalogs, okay. his stuff. I don't not, know. I'm not worried about Warner. Warren's let right, right, right. six trucks of right, stuff right. go on. I'm just saying, okay. like, I don't know what yeah. of that That's he fine. can and can't. So. We're quickly running out of space. Right, right. You're right. doing nice, this is great, right. but you gotta let a lot more stuff go. Yeah. Not sort to think about donating at no, some point no. in her yard sale. We gotta throw some stuff away. Mm -hmm. She has laid down this flat ultimatum. If, if Warren doesn't clean up, she's leaving. Well, Warren's cleaned up pretty quickly, and she's not. There's 50 things of Electrosol. Okay. I know. There's 100 things of Electrosol. I know. Who bought that? Me. Okay, I'm gonna say something. I don't mean to be rude, but... I don't know that it's all worn. You were saying 25, 75. I think we're closer to 50, 50. I know coming in, uh, asking Lee, how much of the clutter is yours, how much of it is his, um, that much more of that responsibility went on to being his stuff. As we're going through, what we're finding is that it's not so much his, but it's, it's really a mix, and maybe an equal mix of his and hers. I kind of turned around and told her it's both of us, but you know, she's like, no, it's mostly you. And I was like, OK, it's all me. But if you want to make everything drop on me, drop it on me. I mean, I really believed that Warren was going to be the issue, and, and Warren's not been the issue at all. Leanne's the hoarder, not Warren. Yeah, put them in. Put them in there. You need to go down there. In the basement? You have to go down there. You need to make decisions. There's a bunch of men down there waiting, standing, doing nothing, because they need your decision. On what? A lot of stuff. Probably more than half of this is hers, and she's not ready to acknowledge that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I had figured is they could bring the stuff up from the basement, and I could sort through it up in the living room, because I can't really breathe down there. Well, you're going to have to put a mask on and go down there and just make decisions. She's feeling embarrassed, and, mm -hmm. and that's why she doesn't want to down here. It has nothing to do with asthma or anything like that. They can maybe bring it up but once you make the decisions and point and say, OK, that, that, that. Then you're done. All right. All right. So let's, you want to do five <laughs> more minutes in here? No, let's switch gears. You want gears, to switch I, gears? Now uh, your brain's off of this. About five years ago was the last time I ventured down there because it was very dangerous to make your way past the stairs. And I think just I wanted to forget about or shut out what was down there because it was so bad five years ago. Ugh. Wow. How is it feeling being down here? Uh, it's kind of gross. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's been what, five years since you've been down here? F over five years. That's crazy. Yeah, well, <laughs> couldn't make it down the stairs. I know, but I mean, what do you think <laughs> about all of that? No, it's amazing yeah. how much is out. I'm really impressed. There's a lot of worn stuff, which is all the clunky, you know, work stuff. But all the sprinkles on top of the cake, as we say it, is Leanne's stuff. Those I need. This is stay. No, no, that's stay. I need to stay right? that one. I say we have lots of soda to throw out, because that's probably been in there that's since trash, yeah. 10 years. Oh. All right, that'll have to go through. And this box, I'll have to go through. OK. What's it like working, working side by side with your wife down here? It feels a little awkward because yeah. she normally never comes down. <laughs> toss them. I want to see the expiration date. Just toss it. Wait. If they're not expired, they can be used. OK. And that's something I can use because it probably should have never been brought down here in the first place. OK. And those are used for work. Okay. That way I have a quick, easy lunch to make. She's just been able to completely ignore this part of her life by putting it down here and shutting the door. So it, it, this definitely elevates the issue. This is very, very loud proof that she's a hoarder. Let's talk about the elephant. Uh, the you elephant. guys have gone so fast today. The van is touchy. I mean, his dad died in that van. All right, I want to talk about some of the dad stuff just because this is probably the only quiet time we're going to have. Okay. We will plant some seeds and encourage him to say, look, at some point, you got to remove the emotion and you got to get rid of the item. You know, it's not helping the family at all. You can celebrate your dad being gone and you can celebrate the great things about him, 
but at this point, your grief is holding you back. I was his right hand guy through, through good and through bad. Do, do you ever feel like this weekend we're throwing stuff away? Did you ever feel like you were throwing away a part of your dad when we got rid of some of the stuff? I would have to say, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yep. How did you get past that? I got to move on and I got to do the right thing for Josh. That's my main concern with him is he, he means more to me than anything else. He's here, your dad's not. Exactly. Warren loves his father very, very much. He was an extremely important person in his life. He taught him his trade. He gave him the ability to support the family that he has now. What you're seeing is Warren is transitioning from totally focusing on his father to now totally focusing on his son. It's like it like yesterday, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Warren's learning. I mean, he's, he's grieving, and he grieved a ton this weekend, which was really, really good for him. Tyler, you can step your foot on that left. No, I'm right here, dude. You're going to see him let go of a lot of stuff. I have a hunch in six months, he will clean out that van on his own. Warren wants what's best for his kid, period. And if it means throwing everything away, he would have done it. Okay, That's going, well, the yeah. metal's going, those chairs are going, and a lot of other stuff going. Yeah. <laughs> More electrosol! <laughs> Our son is so important to both of us, and that's the reason why we agreed to do this. And that's why we wanted to do this. I love my wife and I love my son to the max. That's basically it. Warren and Leanne have a lot of uh, counseling that they need, but I think this is a step in the right direction She's not there yet. I mean, it's taken decades for things to get to this level. It's gonna take a little time for it to totally change. So I think that she made some really good progress. If Leanne and Warren do not go through the aftercare program together, this house will be filled in three, four months. I don't wanna think of that possibility that we'll wind up back at where we were, because that'll be the end of everything. I love you. I love you too. I just want to get on with my life and just keep rolling forward. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to AE for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.